Have you ever wished that you had all your messaging apps in one app? Just like this. Well, it's very simple. And even better, I have very nice shortcuts where I can easily clean my inbox if I would need that. And it is available for Android, iOS, macOS, Linux, and Windows. And I'm going to show you today how to install it Well, pretty much set it up. It is very easy and let's get started. Well, first of all, this is it on the Windows computer and you can see that it looks pretty nice. Well, right here I have messages. If I click on it, I can easily preview everything. And this is a link to Discord, which is great. Here in settings, we have more. For example, accounts, you can pretty much see everything that's connected to me. On my phone, you can easily see all connections that are possible. For example, Telegram, WhatsApp, and all that. And right down here, you can see Discord, Instagram, X, and even LinkedIn is available. They also have cool labs features just right here. And all of these, uh, some of these are really light. For example, Flippy Reactions is a pretty nice feature you should be turning on once you get this app. But let's get started to the installation. For this tutorial, I will be installing it on my other phone. Right here is the name of this application and it is a universal chat app. So let's go and install it right here. It is also available for App Store. So make sure you go there and check this app out. It doesn't take much space via 80 MB, you know, megabytes, but for the rest, you have all your messaging app here in one app. By the way, if you're joining the videos, make sure you consider subscribing because we will be making more shorter videos like this that have a packed full of video content about tech tips and all. But right here, we have the application. Let's open it. After doing this, you should be seeing this. Welcome to Beeper. All your chats in one app. It is pretty nice to have this. So make sure you enter a random email address here, one you're already using, and then it will ask you to set it up very easily. So I'm going to pick a random email address. Why not? For fun. The phone is info at gmail.com. By the way, if you send any emails here, we can reply and we just want to get in contact, you know, if you want that. So let's continue right here. And then I want, I need to enter our code. So let's go to the Gmail. So right here is the Gmail of the info account. And you can see that some things are pretty much already sorted. For example, unsafe sponsors. Uh, well, yeah, these people, they try to invite you to make the collaboration. And when you click their download link, you get hacked. So be very careful what you get in your inbox. Right here is the confirmation code. So let's go and enter it. So let's sign in. You're in control and everything like that. I'm really sorry that my screen is actually broken, but it's just an older phone. So right here, let's click on next. After this, enter your full name and a username. Right here, I have entered my info. And make sure you subscribe. And now I'm gonna click on next. And I'm pretty sure it works because we are original, right? The name, I have no clue. Let's sign in, recovery code. By the way, make sure that you save this. It's very important and I won't be showing yours, I mean mine to you because it's a recovery code and you can already see here that you should be saving it in a highly secure place. So after you've done that, just click on next and then they want to check your code. So make sure you paste it right here. Let's click on next. And then after that, it should be syncing in. And now you can choose all the networks you can connect with. We can actually also do this on the computer, by the way. I'm going to try to connect it with Google Messages, which is a feature you can use. You can chat and RCS to other people. So right here, I have to enter my password. But what is pretty useful is that I made a video about Proton Pass. Right here, you can see the info. And when I click right here, I'm actually going to copy the password and I can easily paste it to the other app. And sometimes it also automatically fills it in for you. But it depends which app it is. So let's enter that right here. Then I'm going to click on next. And now, of course, I need to go to my other phone because of security reasons. So let's say it's me. There you go. It is going to sync with at least one social media app. And now it can work. There you go. Well, because that didn't work, because I don't have RCS on this phone. I'm not using the SIM card or anything. Um, yeah, I'm using Discord, so it doesn't matter. Let's go to done, and then we can choose our own inbox experience. My favorite is actually Pro. It has some more features, more detail, everything like that. I love that. 
So let's go to next to our new account. And now you can see um, the note to self and beeper updates. Once you click on the search icon right here, I can't really tap it, but here you go. You can actually see all your network connections and you can filter everything however you want, which is pretty useful. You can also scroll down here and see all the messages. Right below, you can see new chat. And after you press on it, you can search your contacts for someone else. There are many features right here. You can easily walk through yourself but I recommend you always hover preview in labs. They update the app pretty often. Also the desktop, which is of course not connected to the same account, but that doesn't really matter because right here is the new desktop. They have improved the UI and everything. So it looks brand new and I really enjoy it. What I do recommend and they're all going to release it again is you go to appearance and then eventually you can change the CSS, which means you can customize this however you want. I do want them to also do it for phones, but I guess you also have preferences. They didn't go to pro, that's weird. And right here you can do light mode or of course dynamic experimental. So you can actually do dynamic uh, with the theme of your own phone. So if you change the theme, which is for me green, uh, should also change here. So that means that you do have some customizability. Well, yeah, that was everything. You can easily set it up on your computer. It will ask you to enter the code again, and you can also make it more secure because it will be asking for devices already logged in or you need your recovery code. It is reasonably secure. I do recommend you should try it. And if you ever feel unsafe about something, please comment down below because we can answer all your questions. By the way, we provide, of course, also merch and we answer all questions you have, tech related or something else, because we want to grow in this community, teach more and keep the videos a lot shorter than they are. So it can also create more content, which every specific person can enjoy more. So the promotions, uh, make sure, yeah, you, Check them out. We are here for you just like you are here for us. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.